How much do soccer jerseys cost? Well, if you're Manchester United, the answer could be more than $600 million. And if you're Nike, that might be too much. Sharon Turlap is here with the story of Man U and their pricey jerseys. Yes. Uh, very pricey. They are. I mean, and Manchester United, they make a lot of money. They're very visible all over mm -hmm. the country. They've had success in striking record-breaking deals with General Motors. They have a huge deal with Nike already. So, I mean, they certainly right. have reason to be op optimistic. Right. They already have an expensive deal with Nike, right? Yes. I think it's about $500 yes. million. Yeah. They're exactly. looking for another, a long-term contract. We're talking about a long-term contract. Sure, here. sure. Not, not one years. year. No. Uh, but Nike is looking at, and, and GM, too, they're, all these other, they're looking at Manchester United, and they're saying, hey, you know, uh, you guys haven't been very good lately. Yeah, they're a huge global brand. Uh, their team stinks right now. Yeah, I mean, the, the team has not been doing well, and I think that this is really going to test those waters. If you're Manchester United, you're saying, yeah, it was a down year, but these contracts are six, seven years. Right. We're in China. We're in emerging markets. You know, are you really going to are you really going to give up this opportunity for one year? On the other hand, if you're G, you know, if, maybe if you're a GM making that deal now, or if you're Nike now, you're saying, well, yeah, but there's other teams now. It's not Manchester United isn't the only game in town. There are other teams, and performance matters. And then uh, the flip side of that is for Manchester United, are there other teams in terms of who can supply these jerseys? Oh, sure, there are. And who has the leverage here? Yeah, I mean, so Nike has the right of first refusal because mm -hmm. they're the, the current company, but there are other teams looking at this. There's actually this really interesting company in Michigan called Warrior Sports that used to only do uh, lacrosse uniforms, and they just struck a really big deal for a soccer jersey. They're owned by New Balance, you know, so so they could really uh, they could really jump in here too. Yeah, uh, and let's pull up. There's a chart that we want to pull up from the story. We can show you folks. Uh, oh. That is the stock chart of Manchester. You might be surprised to learn, some of you, that Manchester United is a publicly traded company. Uh, does the stock really move according to how good or bad the team is? No, it's. I mean, it, it really hasn't. I mean, it moved, for instance, when the team fired its coach and yeah. the, the stock jumped because it was a sign that the owners care very, you know, care about the performance. So it's not that the market doesn't care, but you're not seeing big swings based on one bad season, one right. good season. I think you need to see two or three. Uh, for, for these teams and for these companies that supply them with the gear, uh, this has become a big global business. I get that. Are there numbers that are just too big? Yeah, I mean, I think there are, especially because you know, Manchester United used to be able to say we're, we're really the only team that's big in these emerging right. markets, but other teams are figuring that out. So, I mean, there's competition. They don't have a monopoly anymore. Yeah. All right. Let's leave it there. Sharon, thanks for coming in. Thank Appreciate you. it.